Have you ever wondered what it would be like to travel through space at the speed of light? The possibilities are endless, but let's take a journey through the cosmos and explore what we might encounter. Hello friends, I hope you are all enjoying my YouTube videos. I just wanted to take a quick moment to remind everyone that if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. I've noticed that there are many of you who watch regularly but haven't yet hit that subscribe button. By subscribing, you'll be able to keep up with all of my latest videos and updates. It lets me know that you're enjoying what I'm creating and helps to support my channel. So please, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button and become part of our community. Thank you so much for your support and for taking the time to watch my videos. First, let's travel to our nearest celestial neighbor, the Moon. If we could accelerate to the speed of light instantly, it would only take us about 1.3 seconds to reach the Moon. Can you imagine witnessing the Moon's craters and surface features in mere seconds? Next, let's head to the center of our solar system, the Sun. At the speed of light, it would take us 8.3 minutes to reach the Sun. As we approach, we would witness the Sun's fiery surface and massive coronal ejections that make up its atmosphere. Now let's continue our journey to other planets in our solar system, Mercury. The first planet we'll reach is Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun. In just 4.5 minutes, we'll witness its barren and rocky surface up close. Venus. After Mercury, we'll travel to Venus, where it will take us approximately 6.2 minutes to reach. We'll marvel at its thick, toxic atmosphere and learn more about the planet's unique features. Earth. Our home planet is next on the list, and at the speed of light, we'll reach Earth in just 8.3 minutes. We'll see the blue marble from space and witness the wonders of our planet firsthand. Mars. The fourth planet from the Sun, Mars, is located approximately 12.5 light minutes from the Sun. We'll traverse its desolate terrain and witness the stunning vistas of the red planet. Jupiter. Our journey now takes us to the gas giants, and we'll first come across Jupiter. Its massive size means that it will take us approximately 43 minutes to travel to Jupiter. Here we'll witness the turbulent atmosphere and massive moons. Saturn. The stunning ringed planet, Saturn, is next on our journey. We'll travel approximately 1 hour and 23 minutes to reach Saturn, where we'll witness its magnificent rings and more moons. Uranus. The seventh planet from the Sun, Uranus, is approximately 2 hours and 45 minutes away. Here we'll witness its unique blue-green color and its numerous moons. Neptune. Our journey finally takes us to Neptune, which is located approximately 4 hours and 24 minutes away from the Sun. We'll witness its deep blue color and the great storms that rage on its surface. Once we've explored Neptune, we've reached the final planet in our solar system. Beyond Neptune lies the Kuiper Belt, a vast region of icy objects left over from the formation of the solar system. At the speed of light, it would take us about five hours to cross the Kuiper Belt. If we were to continue our journey beyond the Kuiper Belt, we would pass by dwarf planets such as Pluto, Eris. It would take us approximately 5.5 hours to reach Pluto, the largest object in the Kuiper Belt. Once we have traversed the Kuiper Belt, we would head into the vast region of space known as the Scattered Disk, which contains countless comets and other icy bodies that were ejected from the solar system's early history. The Scattered Disk extends from about 30 to 100 astronomical units from the Sun, with some scattered objects reaching up to 200 astronomical units. 
At the speed of light, it would actually take us approximately 41 hours to cross the scattered disk. At the speed of light, it would actually take us about 30,000 years to cross the Oort cloud. So, the time needed to travel from the scattered disk to the Oort cloud would also be approximately 30,000 years. Interstellar Gas and Dust After leaving the Oort cloud, we would travel through the interstellar medium, which consists of gas and dust particles. This region of space is not completely empty, although the density of particles is much lower than within our own solar system. Proxima Centauri This is the closest star to our solar system, located about 4.24 light-years away. If we were traveling at the speed of light, it would take us 4.24 years to reach Proxima Centauri. The star is orbited by at least one known exoplanet, Proxima Centauri b, which is located in the habitable zone and could potentially support life. Alpha Centauri This is a triple star system located about 4.37 light-years away from our solar system. One of the stars, Proxima Centauri, is the closest to us, while the other two, Alpha Centauri a and b, are slightly further away. Together, they make up the closest star system to our solar system. Several exoplanets have been discovered orbiting the stars in the Alpha Centauri system, although none have yet been found in the habitable zone. The Local Bubble This is a relatively empty region of space surrounding our Sun, which was created by recent supernova explosions. It is believed to be about 300 light-years in size and is filled with hot, tenuous gas. Globular Clusters These are dense clusters of stars that are found in the halos of galaxies. They contain hundreds of thousands of stars, all gravitationally bound together, and are thought to be some of the oldest structures in the universe. The Andromeda Galaxy this is a spiral galaxy located about 2.5 million light-years away from our solar system. It is the closest galaxy to us and is visible to the naked eye from Earth on a clear night. The Andromeda Galaxy is about twice the size of the Milky Way and is home to over a trillion stars. The Cosmic Microwave Background Radiation A few seconds to a few minutes to cross the Cosmic Microwave Background Radiation. This is a pervasive background radiation that permeates the entire universe and is thought to be a remnant of the Big Bang. It was first discovered in 1964, and has since been studied extensively as a means of understanding the structure and origins of the universe. Black Holes These are extremely dense regions of space-time that are defined by their strong gravitational pull. They are thought to be formed by the collapse of massive stars, and can have masses that are millions or even billions of times greater than that of our Sun. Despite their terrifying reputation, black holes are essential to our understanding of the universe, and have been key in revealing previously unknown properties of space and time. Zero time to cross a black hole, although due to its strong gravity, it would cause time dilation and distortions of space-time. The edge of the observable universe, this is the furthest point in space towards which we can observe. Light from further away has not yet reached us, and may never do so due to the expansion of the universe and the limitations of our technology. The exact location of the edge of the observable universe is not yet known, but is thought to be around 46 billion light-years away. Since the edge of the observable universe is always moving further away due to the expansion of the universe, it's tricky to give an exact time estimate. However, as of now, the furthest point we are able to observe is thought to be around 46 billion light-years away, which would take around 46 billion years to reach at the speed of light. The observable universe is what we can currently observe, which is limited by the speed of light and the age of the universe. Beyond that, we don't know what exists. It's possible that there could be more universe beyond what we can currently observe, but we currently have no way of confirming this. 
It's also possible that the universe is infinite and goes on indefinitely, or that it is finite but has a shape that causes it to curve back on itself, similar to the surface of a sphere. Again, we currently have no way of knowing for sure what lies beyond the observable universe. Thank you for joining us on this incredible voyage. And as we navigate our way through life, let's keep reaching for the stars, both figuratively and literally.